Welcome to Learners Planet, my dear students. In today's session, we will study about skeletal system and nervous system. So, this is session one in which we are going to discuss about the system and the introduction to some of the common systems of our body. So, let us start with this session. Yes, children. First of all, we should know that what is meant by system, right? We are discussing about all the major systems of our body. But do we know that what is a system? Yes. The body is made up of millions of cells which we cannot see with an unaided eye. Or we can say that the body which is made up of millions of cells which we cannot see with a naked eye. Right? We have to use microscope to see such tiny cells. Right? And these special tiny cells combine together to make an organ. And what is an organ? It is a complex structure within the body which performs special functions. Right? And what happens then? This organ system or the body system is formed which, is, which consists of a number of organs which work together and perform many functions. Let us study or let us see some pictures and see that what kind of system or how this system is made. Yes, these are the tiny cells which we cannot see with a naked eye. Right? We will have to use a microscope to see this. And many such tiny cells or the millions of cells combine together to form a tissue. Right? Any kind of tissue. There are many kind of tissues which are present in our body. And many such tissues combine together to form an organ. We have taken just one such example of an organ. Right? So many tissues combine to form an organ. Then many organs combine to form an organ system. As you can see here, this is the digestive system. And digestive system includes small intestine, large intestine. Right? So it is the combination of many organs. Right? Which combines together and forms an organ system. And many organ system combines to form human body. Right? So we can say that human body is made up of or human system, body system is made up of all such things. Right? We cannot say that directly our body system is made up from the cells. No. First of all, cells will combine to form tissue, then tissue will combine to form, many tissues will combine to form an organ, many organs will combine to form an organ system and finally our body system will be made. Right? So this is actually termed as a system. Right? I hope you are clear with this term, system, a body system. Right? As you know children that even a simple action like lifting any bag also requires us to use different parts or organs of our body. Almost all organs work together to perform a particular function for the body. So can we say that a group of organs working together to perform a particular function for the body is termed as organ system. And many such organ systems are formed in our body. Right? Always remember that the body system is not a simple structure. It is made up of a very complex structure. Because every single person has a skeleton which is made up of many bones. And these bones give our body a structure. It lets us move in many ways. And it also protects our internal organs. Right? always remember this and also remember that to see these kind of special cells which makes up an organ we have to use a microscope right so our body system is a very complex organization and finally now we will discuss about some of the very common body systems or the organ systems which we have always studied in the previous grades. 
right so let us discuss about these common organ systems right so we will now discuss about the body systems the first system here is the system which is responsible for transporting nutrients and other substances to different parts of the body what is this system this is the circulatory system right so this is one such picture of a circulatory system in which we have shown a diagram or the image of a heart and these red colored nerves or we can say this red color are the arteries and the blue ones are labeled as veins right so mainly these three things are present in the circulatory system uh, heart arteries and veins right so what actually what is the function of a heart heart pushes out blood to big blood vessels and as you know children that heart is made up of only muscles it is a muscular organ so what will happen the big sorry the big blood vessel branches and goes to all the parts of the body it branches means these vessels branches into more smaller and smaller vessels and they will reach all the parts of the body and as you know that when they will travel to all the parts of the body they will able to they will help the blood to reach to all the parts of the body via these blood vessel which branches right so here you can see these are the small branches in the circulatory system where the blood reaches because of the help of these branches right so this is one such circulatory system let us move on to another system yes another system is the system which gives shape to our body and helps us in movement this is the skeletal system yes the skeletal system includes or consists of the skull neck bones ribs backbone leg bones and joints we will discuss about the skeletal system in detail in the next session let us move on to another system children yes the system which is responsible for carrying oxygen from the air to the blood stream is respiratory system or the breathing system now what does this includes which type of organs it includes yes nose windpipe and lungs as you can see here this is the nose this is the windpipe and these are lungs pair of lungs are present in our respiratory system so it is a system which is responsible for carrying out oxygen which we inhale in from the air to the blood stream that is the blood which is present in our body let us move on to another system children yes the system which helps us in movement is muscular system and these muscular this muscular system includes the face muscles arm muscles and leg muscles right as you know that face muscles help us to frown smile then when we are happy or when we are sad these face muscles also move and they help us in movement then arm muscles also help us in making biceps and triceps and leg muscles help us in making our muscles like in thighs right so all these muscles are present in the muscular system which helps us in movement right let us move on to another system yes it is the system which helps us to do a number of things like learning thinking tasting feeling etc and this is termed as the nervous system what actually happens in the nervous system yes nervous system includes nerves and the brain the brain understands like we have taken we take took an example of a hot coffee mug a hot coffee tea sorry hot coffee mug right now what happens the brain here understands that it is hot when 
a person touches a hot mug right and then the nerves get the message from the brain that take the hand away otherwise you will be injured you will burn your hand and then the nerves tell the brain that we have touched something hot and because of this nerves will get the message from the brain and we will remove the hand or we will take away our hand from this hot coffee mug right so this is actually all the things which are taking place by the brain right so this is one such very beautiful interesting and very exciting type of organ which is present in the nervous system right let's let us move on to another system yes the system which helps us in getting rid of the body wastes is termed as excretory system right and this system consists of kidneys ureter and urinary bladder right so this is one such system in which we it helps us in getting rid of the body waste just imagine children that if you keep on eating eating and eating and you are not excreting then what happens yes you can just imagine that where your body will go it will increase and increase in size right and many toxic substances or very harmful substances will accumulate in your body right and what will happen finally you will be suffering from many diseases so this system is very very important right because it helps us in getting rid of the body waste right okay now let us move on to another system yes the system which breaks down the food which we eat into simple substances is the digestive system right and this digestive system includes or consists of which organs yes mouth food pipe then stomach large intestine small intestine and anus so all these organs are included in the digestive system which helps in breaking down of food into simple substances right let us move on to another system yes another system is the system which helps in producing new individuals is termed as reproductive system as you can see here this is the male reproductive system and this is the female reproductive system right so this is one such system which helps us in producing new individuals right it is the very important system organ system of our body so we saw almost all the organ systems of our body now let us move on to another topic the main topic which we are going to discuss in brief in detail let us move on to that system yes the skeletal system so in this session we are going to discuss about something about skeletal system let us start with this system children as you know that every person has a skeleton made up of many bones as we discussed and these bones give shape to our body and let us move in many ways and it also protects our internal organs so what can be say that this system is actually the framework of the bones that give support to our body framework means it will make up a structure bones will support our body by making a specific structure and then it will let us move in many ways right so in this way we can term this system that is a skeletal system right let us move on to another slide and see and discuss more about skeletal system yes what are bones made of as you know children if you have ever seen a real skeleton or fossil that is fossil means a dead remain right a dead organism which was living at some time right if you have ever seen a real skeleton or fossil in a museum you might think that all the bones are dead but this is not the case all the bones in the museums are dry hard or crumbly 
but the bones in your body are very different from these bones right the bones that make up your skeleton are all very much alive growing and changing all the time like other parts of your body right so just always remember that the bones that make up your skeleton or our skeleton are very much alive they are growing and they are changing all the time like other parts of our body they are not the same they are not the bones which are actually present in the museum right so always remember that the bones or the skeleton which is present in the museum is very different or very different from the bones which are present in our body right so every time you walk settle into the chair or hug any of your friend you are actually using your bones muscles and joints and always remember that without these important body parts we would not be able to even stand walk run or sit right so these are some of the very important points which we have to remember right so this is one such picture of a human skeleton in which we will explain and which we will study about the main skeletal system what does actually an a human skeleton consists of as you know children that the skeletal system is the framework of the bones that give support to our body and there are total 206 bones in an adult human skeleton so the first thing is the first organ is the skull the skull here acts like a helmet and it protects the brain inside it right and secondly comes the rib cage this is the rib cage the rib cage what happens with the rib cage what what it does what functions it carries out the rib cage acts like an armor and protects our heart heart and lungs inside it right then thirdly comes the backbone which is present over here you can see in this picture right the backbone surrounds and protects the spinal cord right then finally comes the bones bones help us in the movement along with muscles and joints right as you know that muscles and joints help us in movement but bones also help us in movement right so these are some of the organs which are present in the human skeleton right now let us study about each of the organ of this human skeleton in detail right first of all we should know that bones but do you know that how the bones grow in our body yes when you were a baby you had tiny hands tiny feet and tiny everything right slowly as you grew older everything became a bit bigger including your bones so just remember that a baby's body has about 300 bones at birth and finally when we become an adult there are 206 bones because these bones grow together and they fuse with themselves and they decrease in the number that is from 300 to 206 there are some of the baby bones which are made entirely of very different material and that we will also discuss in the other sessions right so by the time you are about 25 this process will be completed totally after this happens after 25 years of age there can be no more growth because the bones are as big as they will ever be and all these bones have make up a skeleton that is very strong and very light and very supportive and that is why after that the bones are not growing in size so we need our skeletal system for many such reasons right so now first of all we will discuss about the organs let us move on to that topic yes skull as you know that our skull protects the most important part of our body that is the brain as you can see here this is the one such picture of skull 
oh how scary it is but it is actually like this right the skull is actually made up of different bones and there are some of these bones which protect our brain whereas others make up the structure of our face right if we touch beneath our eyes we can see or we can feel the ridge of the bone that forms the hole where our eye sits right so you can just imagine you can just feel this skull or you can just feel beneath not the skull but you can just feel the ridge of the bone that forms the hole where our eye sits and skull protects the brain and children although we can't see it we can just feel the ridge of that bone it is the smallest bone in our whole body which is in our head right and that is another kind of bone which is present in the ear drum which is 1 to 1.3 or 0.13 inches right so you can just imagine that how smallest bone in our body exists in our head and in our ear drum right even our lower jaw bone is the only bone in our head which we can move as you can see here this is the movable one you cannot you cannot move your upper jaw bone right you can only move your lower jaw bone it opens and closes to let us talk and chew the food so you can see that our skull is a very pretty cool organ but it is changed since we were a baby all babies are born with the spaces between the bones in their skulls and this allows the bones to move and close up and even overlap as the baby grows through the birth canal and as the baby grows the space between these bones slowly closes up and disappears and that is why some of the special joints occur in these type of bones and they will connect the bones right so finally when they connect the bone the size decreases the number of the bones decreases not the size but number of bones decreases from 300 to 206 right so we can say that the skull protects the brain and the skull of an adult human being generally contains 28 bones so you can just imagine that if an adult human being contains 20 the skull of an adult human being contain, contains 28 bones and you can just imagine that how protective it is for our brain as all the skull all the bones in the skull are fixed except the lower jaw which we saw in the picture right the movable lower jaw enables us to talk and eat and the upper and the lower jaw have teeth and teeth help us in cutting and chewing the food right so this is the description of one such organ let us move on to another organ of the skeletal system yes rib cage ribs make up a cage or it make a cage of bones around the chest called the rib cage it is easy to feel the bottom of this cage by running our fingers along the sides and front of our body that is a few inches below our heart so you can just feel the bottom of this cage if we breathe in deeply we can easily feel feel our ribs right in the front of our body right so you can just try this on yourself right so this is one such picture of a rib cage and this is sternum let us discuss about this one more thing that is sternum what is actually sternum yes the rib cage protects our heart and lungs as you can see here this is the rib cage right this is the skeleton right so you can see here this is the rib cage and you can see that it can protect our heart and lungs because it acts like a protective cover for these organs right and as you know that most people have 12 pairs of ribs a long bone at the center of this chest is present this is the yellow color bone which is termed as sternum 
so always remember that the first seven pairs of ribs attach in the front to the sternum sternum means it is the long and the strong bone which is present in the center of our chest that holds those ribs in the place right so you can see here that this yellow colored sternum tries to hold or it holds the ribs in a proper place so this is about a rib cage let us discuss more about the rib cage children yes the ribs are also attached to the backbone however the last two pairs of the ribs are not attached to the sternum as you can see here these are not attached to the sternum while other pairs of the ribs are attached to the sternum right as you know that sternum holds all these pairs of ribs in a proper place but the last two are not attached they are free and that is why they are termed as or they are called as the floating ribs right you can just see here these are the floating ribs now you must be thinking that floating ribs ribs means they must be floating in our body no they do not float around inside our body but they are attached to our backbone sometimes people can be born with an extra rib right so these are included in the floating ribs let us move on to another organ of our skeletal system children yes another organ is the backbone or spine as you know backbone this term is also self explainable backbone means it is present in our back yes it is present at our back right and this backbone protects the spinal cord it is made up of a series of small bones called as vertebrae so you can just now imagine that backbone is backbone or the spine is made up of a series of small bones known as vertebrae and because of this vertebrae they are able to make up the whole backbone which finally protects the spinal cord so the backbone or the spine lets us twist and bend and it also holds our body in a very right upright position right it protects our spinal cord which is a large bundle of nerves that sends information from our brain to the rest of our body so, right always remember that backbone protects the spinal cord which is and spinal cord which sends the information from our brain to the rest of our body and these vertebrae are the small bones which make up our whole backbone right so this is one such thing which we have to remember let us discuss more about our backbone or spine yes this is the picture of the backbone this is the backbone or spine right the backbone or spine is very special because it is not made up of one or even two bones but there are 33 vertebrae means 33 small bones that make a make the spine that make our backbone right so you can just think just see in the picture and try to imagine that this rib cage this these ribs and the floating ribs are attached to the backbone and that is why it is able to protect the spinal cord and it is able to protect our spinal cord and that is why our spinal cord is able to send the information from our brain to the rest of our body right so the vertebrae make up the backbone yes another organ which are present are the limbs we have two pairs of limbs the four limbs or the arms and the hind limbs or the legs you can just see the picture this is the picture of four limbs or arms and this is the picture of hind limbs or we can also term or we can also say legs right so the four limbs or arms and hind limbs or legs are present and they are present in the skeletal system right you can see here in this picture this is a picture of a long bone now there is a term for this long bone which we will discuss right now 
these are the ligaments because of which these bones are attached and this is the name of the longest bone in our body which is termed as femur right so let us discuss more about these limbs right our legs are attached to a circular group of bones called as pelvis and our leg bones are very large and strong enough to help support the weight of our body that is why they are present in the skeletal system because it helps to support the weight of our body right and the bone that goes from our pelvis to our knee which we saw in the picture right now is called the femur because the thigh bone or the femur is the longest bone in the body right you can see here this is our thigh bone and it is also termed as the femur right so the bone which goes from the pelvis to the knee is termed as the femur right so you saw the picture this is the longest bone in the body right so these are all the organs which we studied which are present in the skeletal system right so i hope you enjoyed this session and learned about the organs of our skeletal system we will continue this system in the next session till then keep learning keep enjoying thank you children